Fans have been wanting one particular guest on the Trisha Paytas podcast, and there's been a response to that demand. So we're going to get into that story. Plus, we're unpacking some Shane Dawson tea because Morgan Adams has come out to speak on the status of her friendship with Andrew and Garrett, who you may remember from Shane's videos prior to his cancellation. So we have a lot to get into. First, we'll talk about what's going on with Trisha's podcast. Recently, Trisha asked her audience who they would want as a guest on her podcast, writing on Twitter, we have a lot of amazing guests this month on the podcast. I can't wait for you guys to see who, but I'd also love to hear requests for guests. I love getting to learn about interesting people no matter the size of their following. Let me know your dream guests below. A lot of people were requesting Drew Monson to come on, who is an OG on YouTube. But if you don't know him, he gained popularity on YouTube back in the day, posting vlogs, comedy skits, and so much more. He was known by a large number of people for having collabed with Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas. But after some time, Shane and Drew seemed to no longer be friends, leaving fans to wonder what exactly went down between them. Drew kept posting though, and he has a very loyal audience. And as of the recent times, he's been posting more frequently than he has in the last couple of years. He did take a break at one point, and when he returned, he opened up about some struggles that he's faced, but since then, he's been more active, and it's why fans have requested that he go on Trisha's podcast. The two haven't talked in a long time, but there was never any bad blood, it seems, and so fans are really wanting this reunion. Also talked about it on her own podcast, saying that they've been in contact as of recent because she's wanted him to come on, and she said that she wouldn't even bring up anything that was difficult to talk about or any hard questions. She just wants to keep it light and fun. Oh, I was like, oh, like, who would people want to, like, see on? just trish um and the number one i think so like brooke was a really big request but um drew monson yes um but i did text him like a while i've texted him like since the beginning of this and we texted a little bit back and forth and um i think he just has like I think he, just anything and he's always been a little like anxious and stuff like that and i think just like and i told him like it doesn't have to be drama like like i said if ariana grande comes on i do not even talk about <laughs> ethan slater or her thing i just would talk about like sweetener or whatever you know what i mean sweetener the foundation. Yeah. Okay. Foundation. Why did I, I was like, wait, is that, that exactly? Um, and that's why I said with Drew. I'm like, we don't even have to talk about drama or anything in the past. Like, I just am like so curious to see how he is. But, um, yeah, he was a little anxious about it. And then he was like, not anxious, just like I don't know. And then he's like, maybe we can get maybe yeah. yeah. And then just like very like maybe we can meet up before. And I said, yes, I would love to. So, anyways, I would love that that was a request. People have been telling Drew that he's wanted on the show, and so he decided to make a video titled "Why I Haven't Gone on the Podcast." where this week he talked about the reason why he hasn't gone on Just Trish and to also express how he's feeling about the idea of going on. And there definitely just seems to be a lot of pressure that he's feeling surrounding the idea of it all. Hello, my name is Drew Monson, also known as Little Guy, also known as Big Guy, also known as the man who Trisha Paytas desperately would love to have on her podcast. I've had a fairly long career here on YouTube and yes, it counts as a career. And within that time, I've been known for various different things. If you've been here with me since the beginning, you might be able to name some of them. But I would say that right now in this present moment, I am best known as the man who may or may not go on the Trisha Paytas podcast, Just Trish, hosted by Trisha Paytas. He said that the other day, someone had literally come up to him in public and asked him if he was going to go on the podcast. And it's now just become this very overwhelming idea. I'm not mad about it. Let me be clear. I'm trying to find the funny here, but it almost made me feel like, do I exist if I don't go on the Trisha Paytas podcast? Because if you look at my comments, it's like a third of them. And I appreciate it. I love the interaction and it's nice to be wanted. It really is. It almost makes me not like, let me just hold back because, because, We've all had an experience where like somebody wants us and the second we are had, they don't want us anymore. We turn to dust in their eyes, right? It's almost like The Office when Jim and Pam were flirting. I don't know about you, I know some people love that love story, but the second they kissed, I didn't really care anymore. I thought it got, got kind of corny. So what I'm saying is, should I go on the podcast? Should I kiss Pam? Should I kiss Jim? Or should I keep the tension happening? He does say it will probably happen at some point, but figuring out when is kind of the question. And now he's just a little nervous because it has been so hyped up. I haven't done it yet because I'm nervous and I don't live in LA. 
and um, traveling stresses me out, but I, I'm probably gonna do it, but I don't really know, and it's hard for me to really do anything. I think what it feels like to me right now is the more that people want me to do something, the more scared I am that I'm not gonna do it well. Fans are encouraging him to do what feels right, but he certainly has felt the pressure from people to go on, and he says that he's not mad at Trisha, he's happy that she wants him on the podcast, just the noise of it all has clearly become a lot and made it all just such a thing. Thank you, Trisha, for inviting me on your podcast. I appreciate it. Also, this might sound weird after that, but I am mad, not at her, but at you. Um, but as we discussed, that's well within my rights. But so you know, I can't control it. I am, I just became mad. I just started getting angry and I'll keep you updated. But for now, yeah, I'm feeling a lot of anger towards you and that is totally okay. So who knows what will happen, but that's a little bit of what's been going on with Trisha's podcast and the fact that Drew hasn't gone on yet and people have really wanted him to go on and how it kind of got a little overwhelming. But since we're talking about Drew and Trisha and the fact that they used to be besties with Shane, I figured we should talk about some others who used to be friends with Shane and that's Andrew and Garrett. Andrew used to be Shane's partner in crime when it came to editing and filming videos and him alongside Garrett were a huge part of Shane's videos with Rylan and Morgan. They were a huge squad just always filming together. Everyone loved them. But during Shane's cancellation, things were quiet and it seemed as though Garrett and Andrew had separated themselves from Shane in that time. And now Morgan has come out in a new video to talk about the friendship and how she hasn't heard from them and that she did try to reach out to them, but they didn't get back to her. She said that she's reached a point where she can talk about this without breaking down. So she was finally going to tell everyone what kind of happened between them, at least to the best of her understanding, because some of it she still just doesn't understand. But people for years and years and years and years have been asking if I'm personally still friends with Andrew and Garrett and <laughs> oh man. I feel like when I talk to my therapist and she's like, what are the points of like deep sadness in your life? That is one of my points of deep sadness because even to this day, I still don't exactly understand that sometimes Sometimes you just have to accept that you don't get to understand things and you don't get to have closure on things and you don't get to know people's reasoning behind things. It sounds like they were all just not as close as we all thought, including Morgan. She thought that they were all closer than they actually were and that they were all having fun together, but it didn't seem to be that way. And Andrew and Garrett not talking to Shane anymore also included not talking to her anymore. Genuinely in my brain, I thought that we were all like, the best five friends that anyone could ever have. I loved and cherished these people so much. And I just had the best time being with them and being around them. I was just young little 19 me, like, do, 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 we're going to a hotel, that sounds fun. And I thought that we were all having the time of our lives. Little did I know that everyone was not having the time of their lives. I was the only one having the time of my life. And you know what? I will keep it that way. There was two countries going on. Country that was ran by Shane and Ryan and there was country that was ran by Andrew and Garrett and I was the river and the It'll like, wow, I can see both countries. I can dip my hand on both countries. Yeah, I guess I just always thought in my brain that I was good enough friends with everyone that if the two countries wanted to divide, I didn't know that that meant me. I've tried to reach out to them and I've never gotten a response or like an acknowledge that I still exist. Morgan says that she's not the type to cut people off and she doesn't even have negative feelings about Andrew and Garrett and still watches and supports them to this day. I guess even now, when I think of Andrew and Garrett, I don't think of like, oh wow, they just kind of dropped me off the planet. I think of like, oh my gosh, I was always just enamored by like how fast Garrett could think of things, how funny the things that he would say were. I just remember being so close to them and just being wowed by everything they said and did, probably because I was, what, 19 and they were in their 30s, so they've had like a lot more experience in life than me. I still watch everything they do. I'm still curious. I still follow. I still have notifications on. Like not only will I watch their videos, I'll give them a like. She went on to say that with their friend group splitting, she felt like Rylan and Shane had each other and Garrett and Andrew had each other and she only really had herself. But she's happy to see Andrew and Garrett post and she notices things in their videos that remind her of old times and it just made me so sad that this was the case. But that is what Morgan had to say about what went down between them all as people have been really wanting to know for a while now. This was definitely a huge conversation, I feel like, a couple years ago after the cancellation, whether or not they were ever going to talk to Shane again and what kind of terms they were all on, because everyone did think that they were so close. So to find out that they weren't and that Morgan, as well as all of us, thought that they were very close, 
it's just sad. But I certainly want to know what you guys think about everything from Trisha's podcast to what Morgan shared. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>